Hello everyone! I don't have a script today, so it's gonna be rambly. Hello one and all, and I want to battle. For those of you who don't know, fellow YouTuber Birdkeeper Toby Pictures, I don't know, somewhere around here probably, has started this tag video a couple years ago uh, to sort of, you know, wrap up the year, bring all the people in this Pokemon YouTuber community together, and uh, answer a few questions, have a good time, and now I'm doing it. I was not tagged by anyone in particular because I'm impatient and don't feel like waiting, so I just went ahead and jumped the gun and did it anyway. But basically, Toby has posed a couple, I think seven questions today. I got notes down there, and uh, I'm gonna be answering them. It's about Pokemon, mostly. Some of it's about the channel. It's a good time, and at the end, I'll be tagging a few more people to, uh, you know, keep carrying the torch, and then they tag more people, and then they tag more people. It's a whole thing. You know how this works. But I guess for those of you who have discovered this channel or are here for the first time because of this tag video, first of all, welcome. Nice to have you aboard. Uh, on this channel, I make sort of Pokemon and other video game related videos where I use like math and statistics to try to explain stuff from the games. But really, it's more just comedy and jokes and stuff. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I don't know. With that atrocious introduction out of the way, let's uh, let's get on with the question, chat. Also, I'm realizing my microphone is not really in the best spot here. All right, so question one is pretty simple. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just came out a couple weeks ago now. What is your favorite Pokemon from uh, these, these new games? And for any of you who have seen the video that I made two weeks ago now, I think... Uh, this will come as no surprise. My favorite is Quaxly. Not the evolutions. They're okay. But Quaxly is is the best boy. Uh, I know it's kind of cliche to be like, oh, one of the starters is my favorite. Also, I should know, I haven't finished the games yet, so maybe there's some other ones that I would love that I just haven't seen yet. And, you know, maybe, maybe we'll get there. I don't know. But currently, out of all the ones I've seen, Quaxly is the best. I made literally a whole video that is low-key about how Quaxly is my favorite. And, uh, yeah, it's a duck with a hat. I know a lot of you think it's hair, and I know he, like, flips it like it's hair, and multiple people in the game reference it like it's hair, but I don't care. It's a freaking hat. It will always be a hat to me. Don't crush my dreams, okay? So question number two, how did you get your username? Now, I think I might have told this story already on this channel before, maybe even as a part of this tag. I'm not sure, but I'll tell it again for anyone who's new, which is probably most of you. So the Chip Tide is actually a name that one of my cousins came up with. Me and my cousins, we have like nicknames for each other, just as like a fun little thing. Uh, I have a ton of nicknames. My real name is Charlie. Basically any word that starts with a CH has probably been one of my nicknames at some point, including Chips, which some of you might know me by, which is back in the olden days, what I was you know, known as on the channel was Chips. And that's where that's from. And one time we were all on like a family vacation together and all of the aunts and uncles were freaking out about riptides in the water. They were, even though there were no riptides, but one of them read like an article about riptides or something. And then they were yelling at us about riptides for the whole week. Uh, and so we made a joke that I was the chip tide and in the pool, I would like swim around and then pull people underwater. It was super dark looking back. They, I mean, that's a genuine concern that they had, but we were dumb kids and we made a bit about it. And uh, that's how the Chip Tide was born. And then when I was trying to come up with a name for my channel, I was like, oh, the Chip Tide, that kind of sounds unique. Sounds like something no one else would have. Bada bing, bada boom, here we are. So that's the, the grand tale behind my username, I guess. Uh, but question number three down here is, what is the best video you've made this year? Now, easily the best performing video I've made this year is the one I made about which Pokemon is statistically the strongest. It got, I think it's up to 150, 160,000 views, which is insane for my channel. And it got me out of the, you know, the small YouTuber purgatory. I was stuck at like 400 subscribers for years. Like I've been doing YouTube for six years, I think now. Uh, it took me six years to get to like 412 or whatever I was at. Then that video came out and skyrocketed me and now I am just over 3,000 and it's not really, I mean, it's slowing down a little bit because that video is not getting as many views now, but uh, it's kind of crazy. 
So that is my best performing video of the year, but I don't think it's my best video of the year. Looking back, I didn't think that that many people were gonna watch it. And I definitely, if I had known, would have put a lot more effort into it uh, and made it a lot better, put more jokes and whatnot. But I think since then I have learned, and there are three videos that come to mind that I think have really uh, captured the, the sort of style that I'm going for moving forward. Uh, and that is the one where I build the strongest Pokemon, the one where I talk about which starter from Galar is statistically the best, and my most recent one about the Game Awards that YouTube has decided not to show anyone, but link is probably in the description or on the end card or something. So, uh, you know, if you wanted to watch any of them, maybe that would be the one just so YouTube would be like, hey, you should watch this. But I think those have sort of encapsulated kind of the more of the comedic style that I want to go for, kind of like, you know, where the whole video was building up to one big joke at the end. The statistically strongest one didn't really have that. I mean, I, they were jokes sprinkled about, but the whole video itself was just like, I don't know, the reveal at the end wasn't that satisfying. It was just like, oh, and that's the end of the video. And I think I have since then improved upon it. Uh, as for which, I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, I, I can't pick my favorite. I'm going to pick one of those videos, which I think is the best one right now. The starters. I think that's the best one, they're all good, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna go, I think that one is the best execution of the sort of style I've been going for. So right here, right here, if I remember to put it in, boom, boom. Uh, statistically best starter Pokemon for uh, Scarlet and Violet. Give it a watch, but also don't take it too seriously because that's not really the point. Question number four, what can your viewers expect from you in 2023? Uh, first of all, it's going to be a lot more, the first half of 2022 for me was like nothing. Didn't do anything on the channel for a while. And then I came back and then it freaking exploded. So uh, more of that. I haven't really like officially said this on the channel before, I don't think. Uh, but I've sort of quietly started doing weekly uploads. And it's I've, I've been able to keep up with it so far. So I think I'm going to try and keep on doing that for as long as I can. Uh, more of the same videos, some more Pokemon stuff because those clearly perform the best on my channel. But I also want to do other non-Pokemon related stuff because I think if I just talked about Pokemon every week for like a whole year, I would lose my mind and also I would run out of stuff to talk about pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, basically more of the same. I got a lot of cool video ideas that I'm, you know, slowly, slowly working on. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a very cool year for the channel. I'm also looking to do more collab stuff in the future. I will be able to do collabs now. So yeah, if you know of anyone that you want me to collab with, kind of does similar stuff to me, by all means, shout them out in the comments. Uh, what else did I have written down here? Nope, I thought I had one more thing written down for this, but that's all I have in my notes. So yeah, uh, weekly episodes, more Pokemon stuff, but also a lot of non-Pokemon stuff. So if you see some non-Pokemon stuff crop up on the channel, if, and you want to do me a solid, Give it a click because I think YouTube right now is like, yeah, if it's not Pokemon related, we're just not going to recommend that to people. You don't want to see stuff about the game awards. No, no. So uh, maybe help me out and let them know. Or if you don't want to see non-Pokemon stuff, then you know what? That's valuable information too. And then uh, collabs, more collabs. That's it. That's question four. Question five, are there any big milestones you're looking to hit or looking forward to? Uh, I don't, I'm not really the kind of guy who's like, all right, by the end of this year or whatever, I want to get to this subscriber count. I think by the end of 2023, 10,000 would be pretty cool. I don't know if that's feasible. It's super hard to predict. But I think not so much a milestone, but a goal for next year is to get a better understanding of like which videos do well and which videos do not. Because currently, I'll post a video, I'll be like, Hope this does well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it's not like I'll have one that gets a ton of views and then the next one that I think is similar uh, won't get a lot of views. And so I'm trying to figure out like what, you know, I'm, I'm the science guy. I'm trying to figure out what, you know, is affecting how many views it gets. It's a fun little puzzle. I don't like super care about the views in the sense of like, oh, I need, I need validation or whatnot. I just, you know, it's an interesting problem that I want to try and figure out. And so I'll do some experimenting. We'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, so that's, I guess that's not a milestone at all, but that's kind of my, uh, my plan moving forward for next year is to try and nail down, you know, when I release a video, be able to 
predict like, okay, I think this is going to get however many views and kind of be able to not like, I know I'm not going to be able to release banger videos every single week. That's just not feasible, but uh, more consistent, I think is my goal. That's my goal. Question number six is to recommend some channels with less subscribers than you that you think your viewers will love. Uh, and I think these are the same channels that I shout out every year for this. And I'm going to do it again. That is, of course, my boy Lantern Joe. If you've been around the channel for a long time, you will definitely know Joe. We did a lot of co-op stuff back in the day. Uh, I don't do a lot of Let's Play stuff anymore just because I don't have the time for that. Joe does a lot of Let's Play stuff. So if you're like, man, I miss the old Chip Tide where he did a lot of, you know, Pokemon Nuzlocks and stuff. Then you got to go check out Joe's channel because he is still doing that and he is still killing it. Uh, and usually, you know, usually, I don't mean to brag here, but he is my, uh, my forever rival in co-op stuff. So, you know, maybe, maybe a little shots fired here and there isn't too bad. Usually when I did this, I'd be like, well, he's got more subscribers than me, but I'll shout him out anyway. But I have since leapfrogged him. So, you know what, Joe? Gauntlet's been thrown. And the second person I want to shout out is Icy Richard. Not really a Poketuber. He does some Pokemon stuff, more of a streamer. But we've been working on a couple of things together. I know I mentioned uh, collabs, that I wanted to do more collabs earlier. We may or may not have one in the pipes, as well as some other cool stuff. Uh, I've been working a lot with him recently, and I think y'all would really like his stuff. So go check him out. Those are the two channels I want to recommend. And that kind of bleeds into question seven is tag three people. The first two, obviously, going to be Lantern Joe, going to be Icy Richard. And for the third one, I think I'm going to be a little ambitious. This one, definitely not going to happen. But in the comments of my Statistically Strongest Pokemon video, for some reason, like half of them, were people saying that I should do a collab with Wolfie, the VGC champion guy? I have no clue why people want that. He's a very, very talented competitive battler. And I don't know anything about competitive battling, so I don't really uh, know what the collab would be. But, you know what? I'll tag him. And I actually, I know I said I didn't know what the collab would be. But I have thought of a very stupid but funny idea for a collab video. So, you know what, Wolfie? If you got the time and don't mind collabing with a channel that is much, much smaller than you and who pretty much all of his viewers by the sound of it already know who you are, then hit me up. There's not much in it for you, but it would be funny. But I think that's going to bring my installment of the Bird Keeper Toby 2022 tag to a close. Uh, the link to the original video obviously is in the description down below. Toby is an amazing Poketuber, much better than me. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check out his video, the link is in the description down below. Also in his original video is a link to like the logo and stuff. If you want to make a video of this for yourself, uh, even if I didn't tag you, you know what? Toby said he tagged literally anyone watching it. So if you go watch that and you want to do it yourself, then bada bing, bada boom, you can do it as a well but I think I will end off this video right here if you did enjoy. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Most of my videos are nothing like this. They're a lot more well thought out, uh, scripted stuff. So if that seems like something you'd be interested in, uh, maybe check out one of the three videos I mentioned earlier. Probably they'll be in the end card. Maybe they're floating around me right now. Oh, oh, look at those videos floating around me. Crazy. But I'll see you guys next time. Until then, don't forget to take it easy.